Hi everyone, it's Miss Emily from Regency Park Library and today I'm going to show you how you can put together your very own dinosaur tooth necklace. We used this to help celebrate our T-Rex party the other day and it's something that's super easy, really fun and something that you can put your own twist on and decorate anywhere you like. So to get things started, I'm using a salt dough recipe to make my tooth, but you could use an air dry clay or any type of clay you like. This is just pretty basic. It's about two tablespoons of flour, one tablespoon of salt, and about one tablespoon of water. And I just kind of add a little bit more water or flour just to get it to the correct consistency. Um, you don't want it to be too gooey and you don't want it to be too crumbly like this version here. As you can see here, I added a little bit more water and now my little dough is the right consistency to put my tooth together with. I want it to be able to stick together and it's not crumbly and it's not gooey. It doesn't really stick to my hands. So now we can move on to the next step. What you wanna do with your dough is you wanna roll it into a little teardrop shape and then you're gonna flatten the bottom of it because dinosaur teeth are kind of the shape of a triangle. And then you can start to manipulate it to make it whatever shape tooth you want it to be. You can make it curved, you can make it flatter, pointy, however you want. And it might take a little bit to get exactly right. And then what I did was I got a toothpick and I drew some lines on the end of my tooth to make it look a little more real looking and then I got a straw, reusable straw here and poked it right through. So this is where you want to make sure that your tooth is thick enough for the hole and depending on what string you're using um, is going to depend on what size hole you make. I used a straw because I knew it would fit better, it would go all the way through and what I want to do after this is put it in the oven for about 15 minutes at 200 degrees. Now here's where you can be a little more creative with your tooth. I decided that I wanted mine to be a little more rustic looking, so I used some regular twine to use as my string, and I had some wooden beads that I put together, and you can really make it whatever you want at this point. If you wanna make it fancy and do like a chain with some glass beads, you could do that. You could do pony beads and some bead string, however you want, make it your own. Maybe you can make a keychain or some other type of accessory. Just be creative, have some fun. So that's it, I hope you enjoy it. I can't wait to see your creations and I look forward to meeting with you again. Thank you. Bye.